Does your Rustler 4x4 VXL sound like this? Or like this? Ooh, that's terrible. On this episode, I show you what's wrong with it and how to fix it. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so what's wrong with my truck? If you've ever heard that sound before, uh, you'll know that it is a spur gear. The plastic spur gear has stripped. For whatever reason, we got to open this up. We got to basically take the whole back half of the truck off. Again, I'll just uh, show you the, the sound again real quick, right? So basically it just, it makes the sound of the engine. You're not supposed to do that, but again, my, my spur gear is gone already, so I don't really care, right? And it just kind of, and it moves, <laughs> it moves freely without any kind of resistance, I guess, if you want to say. All right, so let's dig into how to actually replace it. So. First things first, let's grab our handy dandy Traxxas toolkit here. I'm just gonna be replacing it with this guy right here. It's a stock uh, 54 tooth spur gear, 32 pinch, uh, 54 piece spur gear. Uh, Amazon sells uh, packs of like five of these things for like, I don't know, eight bucks, something like that. So link in the description of where to purchase from Amazon. But like I said, first things first, really, it's uh, the spur gears right in this, co uh, this cover. So we're gonna have to take off uh, this cover we're gonna have to take out these two bolts and then these two bolts and that's gonna take the whole back half of the truck off and then that'll be able to, we'll be able to then access the spur gear. As you can see right in here, uh, there are basically no teeth left and that's exactly what happened. I didn't uh, basically, I didn't put the motor close enough to the spur gear, it came loose and then the metal pinion gear in here basically just strip the uh, the plastic gear so again we're just going to replace that spur gear and then we'll be good as new so again today's going to be a step-by-step -step on how to replace the spur gear in a rustler 4x4 or slash so we've already we've already taken off uh this cover that's the first step next step we're going to be undoing these two screws right here and then on the bottom these two screws right here and then that allows us to take the whole rear end of the car off. And then from there, accessing the spur gear, the cush drive, all of that is pretty straightforward. Those two screws are off right there. Flip it over. Like I said, these two right here. that's it guys so now we should be able to take this whole rear and there you go see how easy that was so this is the whole rear end of the truck yes mine is super dirty so i apologize but uh but that's it you can actually see the uh differential in there working but that's the whole rear end of the truck we'll put that over to the side here and now we have access to what we need which is the spur gear and cush drive assembly all right so i'm going to take this little grub screw out right there and it was just on there real good all right guys so there's our problem as you can see all the uh the uh, gears are totally stripped on that and then again before we lose this little itty bitty grub screw i'm gonna screw that back in okay so we can put this big old this big old thing again to the side as you can see like i said uh this is your uh, uh, the clutch, the cush drive, as well as the spur gear assembly. So now what we're going to do is going to take this guy apart. And just remember the, remember the steps that you took to take it out. Cause you have to do, you're going to have to do the exact same steps to put it back in. So just kind of remember the steps that you took. So the first thing we'll do here is we're going to take off. So I'm going to take off this nut here. Right? So we're going to spin this. Going to spin this this way. Just going to loosen everything up. Until we get the nut totally off. There we go. Nice and loose now. So what I like to do whenever I have this type of stuff, I like to just lay out the parts in exactly the way that I got them off. Right? Okay, so then the ball bearing, just like that, this piece, okay, so, and make sure you don't lose these, these are the little clutch pieces, 
Okay, so you should have three of those. That's the last piece over here. And then this itself, you gotta take out the ball bearing and you also have to take off. Next, you're gonna take these three screws off. Now that we have that off the clutch, make sure you take this last screw off, take the ball bearing out, and basically that's it guys that is the cold clutch assembly all completely disassembled we're gonna go ahead and replace this this is the culprit see this is the old this is the old one this is the new one right so you can see the teeth this one doesn't even have teeth anymore <laughs> so that's the big difference there we'll go ahead and start putting everything back together so first thing we will reattach pressure plate to the spur gear see how there's two sides here this is the side that the screws go in this is the side to attach this to okay so we'll do that and then from there we'll put these screws back in always put a little bit of Loctite on the metal ones So, we have the spur gear, the new spur gear attached to the pressure plate. Next thing we'll do, we'll take the clutch assembly here, okay? And we're going to attach it to the spur gear. Don't forget your ball bearing. And again, you can, you should be able to tell if this is going to be good to put back in or not. Uh, mine, mine rolls pretty easily. There's nothing wrong with it. It's still sealed. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put the ball bearing back in here next thing we're going to do is put these little clutch plates back on here as you can see there's three of them and there's three of these so we just put them right like that and if you look on the back of them you'll kind of see how they were before there's one probably side that's a little bit more worn out that's the side you're going to probably put toward the plate toward the clutch assembly and again, this is what allows the truck, you can adjust whether it's going to do wheelies or it's going to uh, um, kind of slip a little bit off the line, thus kind of just being better at accelerating rather than just popping wheelies every single time. So now we're going to take our um, clutch plate assembly and we're going to put it into here. Make sure all the clutches stay where they are. So it's going to look like that when it's done. Looks like a beautiful beautiful sandwich so again as you can see the spur gear isn't actually physically attached to this drive it is just merely the pressure of this pushing against this and that's what makes the wheels turn okay so that's that's how that works okay so I'm gonna put this next then we'll put this back in here okay so slide that on there just like that Next, all we're going to do is we're going to put the spring back on here. This is what goes back into to, into the um, the rear differential. So just put a little grease on there. So anyway, uh, next step is going to put the spring on here to apply the tension. And then finally, the nut. So that's good enough. All right, so that is the whole assembly all together again. Like I said, just make sure all the pressure plates are all good. That looks pretty good to me. So now we'll grab... You could do it either way. You can either grab the, the bigger portion of the truck or the rear differential and put it in. But just know that we do have to do a little bit of finagling to get to get it back into the truck and also into the rear section as well. So I'll just bring in the front half of my truck. Yeah, it doesn't really matter which way you do it. We have to put this back into here, right? And then also attach it to the drive shaft that's just sitting here. So we'll slide it in. And again, making sure that you're lining up. You gotta line up this and this. Line up this little flat part with uh, the grub screw there. So what we'll do, we'll line this up, and then we'll back out. Back out those grub screws so we can put Got it lined up. I gotta put the grub screw on there. This is something else you probably want to put Loctite on because it's so small. Put it 
put it in the little hole there. Make sure that's nice and secure. Okay, nice and tight. All right, so now, I mean, it's pretty much all installed again. We just have to put the back half of the truck back on. So we'll do that now. As you can see there. Just got a few screws left to put on. So basically all we're doing now is we're sticking the output shaft right here into the differential and then putting the screws back on. So let's see if we can't do this fairly easily, hopefully. You just, I don't know if you saw that, but it did just kind of snap right in. And as you can see, everything's all lined up. All right, now we're just gonna put the four screws back into these two, and then the, the other two right on the back. You guys don't need to see, see me putting the screws in, but again, we're putting these two screws and then the bottom screws right here, right? One here, one here. And I'll come back with you once that's all done. All right, guys, so it is all put back together. Got those two screws in there. It uh, sounds just as it should. The motor is turning along with the wheels. Everything's put back together, these two screws. And that's it, guys. So that is the whole process to change a spur gear on either a Rustler 4x4 or a Slash. If you have any questions on it, please let me know. I'd be happy to help. If you have any questions on any other RC repair stuff, uh, let me know. I'd be happy to help. Uh, much more great content coming up from G-Reviews. Please give us a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you like this stuff. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you in the next video.